President, General Muhammadu Buhari, pledged to Nigerians free and fair elections with the passage of the new Electoral Act, and indeed has repeated this promise multiple times. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, also came before Nigerians and the global community to promise free and fair elections and severally reiterated its readiness to conduct the elections. What has become clear is that none of these promises have been kept. All the promises made about deploying a fail-safe system anchored on the BVAS technology were broken. The internet and social media is awash with videos and photographic evidences of the pervasive violence and attacks that were visited on Nigerians, with some attacks still going on across the country as we speak. The evidence of collusion between INEC and the security forces to subvert the will of the people are too numerous to be detailed here. The INEC guidelines on the conduct of the elections were extensively breached, and INEC has evidently been very reluctant to make the necessary adjustment to remedy the situation. Contrary to the publicly advertised guidelines for the conduct of the elections, we are convinced that the processes leading to the results have been severely compromised. Consequently, we regret we regret to state that we've lost confidence in the results being collated and being announced. Nigerians have inundated us with calls and protests over INEX non-compliance with provisions of the electoral guidelines and the obvious manipulations of the election results. We are by call on INEC to suspend further announcement of the results and follow its own guidelines, guidelines or complete, completely cancel the entire election and make plans for another election with strict compliance with the stipulated laws and guide, guidelines. We ask that the international, com we ask the international community to work their talk in Nigeria and cease to conduct the multiple evils being perpetrated in our country by the rulers of Nigeria. There cannot be one standard for Nigeria and another for the rest of the world. Indeed, we recall a comparable period in 2015 when the Secretary of State, American Secretary of State, Mr. John Kerry, at, the, at, a, at a precisely a time like this, was breathing down on the, ne on the neck of the electoral agency and the deputy president to do the right thing. We expect the same uh, obligation and responsibility at this period. We thank Nigerians for their support for our candidates, and we assure you all that your mandate shall not be surrendered to a desperate gargoyle of fair rulers who have brought nothing but ruination on our dear country. We urge that Nigerians remain peaceful and law-abiding, whilst assured that we are doing everything within the law to protect your sacred mandate. Thank you, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much, sir. <coughs> You can just come close and ask your question. All right. The DG of the Presidential Campaign Council of the Labour Party, Aki Ushutoku, actually speaking and addressing the press and their dissatisfaction with the collision of results happening in Abuja. He has said they had lost confidence in the process and he has called on INEC to seize the process. <laughs> 